Hey, this is Jay from The Sexy Armpit, and right now I'm going to show you some interviews I did with the other bands showing up on June 30th at the Bowery Ballroom. But there's an element of glam rock to it, like the attitude. Right. In the attitude, there's glam to our performance, and we're unabashed about it. We love it. And we're, we're not afraid of color, either. There's a little of the hair and the little... And the yeah. color. Yeah. yeah, the color. Bright colors, bright lights, mm -hmm. a lot of energy, and that's what it's about. If you're going to play a solo, like, you got to fucking play it. <laughs> in downtown Lower East Side, New York City with Sweet Fix. First, I'll introduce the guys. Ivan, you're the guitarist with the cool Queen shirt. Thank you. I, like I got this in San Francisco. Yes. It's probably older than that. And it is original vintage, not a, no yeah, not a knockoff. It's no knockoff. Yeah. Awesome. And Tommy Walker, lead vocals. Hello, hello. And Marco, from, uh, the drummer. That's correct. What say, from the drums? <laughs> Are you the drums. That's where I was born. <laughs> Originally, um, Marco and Ivan, you guys are from New York, uh, from New Jersey, not New York City originally, but you guys have moved the operation to New York City. Now, what what actually said to you guys, let's move to New York? Is it the place to be for bands, or you, did you not want to deal with the New Jersey scene? Well, you know, me, um, I grew up in the suburbs of New York, in New Jersey, and so for me, the childhood dream was just being a New York band. Um, I mean, that was just always the plan from when I was a little kid listening to the radio. And, and Tommy, now you, you do a lot of acting as well, and you starred in the video for Who's Coming Back to Who, the Dirty Pearls video, which will be premiering June 30th at the Bowery Ballroom. Yeah. Now, that's got to be exciting to not only be appearing and playing in your band, but you're going to be in the video on the big screen as well. What, what was your role in that? Well, I thank Tommy London for that. Uh, this is literally how it went. Called me up, said, "Hey, I got a role for you in this video," and I was like, "Oh yeah!" And he said, "It's a little bit more of a prep, and uh, you know, kind of like a, you know, what do you call it? like a downtown Wall Street guy." And I knew exactly where he was going with it. He's familiar with a lot of my acting work, and I was like, "You don't have to say anymore. I'm in." And then uh, I subsequently met Jason, and the director of the video, and, and all these guys, and got to you know reunite with a ton of the scene who were in the video. It was it was brilliant. It was great. And I think Tommy's way of Paying back everybody on the bill, you know, he invited Sweet Fix, Pansy, and Starkiller all play. It was just awesome. So, what a better way to, to celebrate the video than just to be playing the show at Bowery? What was it called? Your role in that? Oh, uh, you know, it was the Socias. Rebels versus the, the Socias. Socias. Yeah. So we're like socialites, or of right, sorts. And you're with the pop collar and whatnot. Right? Exactly, yeah, yeah. real kind of like hot shot. But he steals the girl, like the rock right. and roll girl from the lead, which is played by Jason. Right. And uh, you know, Jason finds out we're at that scene and we're in the wrong bar with you know. Mm -hmm. That's his bar. The uh, new single coming out, which is also produced by Tommy Mokas. Uh, we're going to be able to get that in uh, iTunes and all kinds of different places. Yeah, we're actually going to be giving it out for free. The only time you can get it for free, July 21st, when we play Irving Plaza. We're actually uh, playing a three-year anniversary show with Gotham Rocks. We've been playing with them for a while. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be on iTunes. It's going to be everywhere. But Tommy Mokas did a great job. Mm -hmm. It's still in the, you know, the mentality of, of the pop rock scene. But we're very happy with it. Um, the one thing that I wanted to mention is how you guys describe the sound of Sweet Fix, which I think is really cool, um, about like the cotton candy melting like on the engine of your car or something like that. Between Ivan and I, he's been a little bit more on the heavier side, I've been a little bit more on the, the pop side, and when we come together, we, we come somewhere in the middle, Right. and I think his reasoning for that was to create something that you had something really heavy like a car, but something really fluffy and pop like you know, right. candy. That's cool. yeah. And when they come together, you get this really great mix of right, exactly. pop rock. Right. It's like candy, like you have one jelly bean, you want another jelly bean. <laughs> Considering that that's kind of the theme right now, what would be your uh, candy of choice? I mean, I've always loved the candy bar, a good candy bar. And, and I think, like, over the course of my life, I have to say Butterfinger is probably my favorite. So when you were a kid and you were trick-or-treating, if you got a, like a large yeah. Butterfinger, you were yeah. like, hit the jackpot. Right? And because Butterfinger bars are like, they're a little longer, too, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. All right, Tommy. <laughs> I'm, I'm you like them long, I guess. <laughs> hey, we gotta get rid of them. I'm trying, I'm trying to work with you. I know, I'm a fan of the candy bar as well. I always was. Three Musketeers was it for me. Yeah, I'm a chocolate guy, man. Yeah. Chocolate, but then that smooth... Uh, it's like soft, beautiful. It's sexy. Tom, it's good. To Tommy Walker likes them soft and beautiful. Like, we gotta edit this. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is trouble. This is great. If I had to answer in terms of music, I'd say... 
a red Starburst because it's oh, sweet good. and it's bright and it's fun. But when you said what were you really happy about when you got for Halloween? Yeah, trick or treating. There's only one candy bar I really look forward to. That was a Reese's. Reese's. Yeah, Reese's. yeah. yeah. So that's by far. Wait, the, the cups or the pieces? The cups. Yeah, cups. I like the yeah, cups. Well, well, the cups are the only way to go. The, the yeah. little, the, <laughs> it's the, 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 the tiny it's ones. The peanut butter to oh. the chocolate ratio yeah, is yeah, perfect yeah. in the Reese's. And that weird peanut butter that's like kind of. Kind of gross. It's just yeah, sugar. It's, it's, just it's sugar not actual butter. real peanut butter. Yeah, it's it's real with the yeah. chocolate. The peanut butter you get in, the, in a jar is completely different. Yeah, it's a different world. <laughs> the funny thing about this band is that this is a completely true conversation. <laughs> we all have sweet tooth. Yeah, there you we go. We used to rehearse in my, my parents' basement and my mom loves to bake. Oh my gosh. And she would bake us like cupcakes or oh. brownies and we'd all come up from the basement like, you know. I would be like 135 pounds heavier. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. After a three hour rehearsal, we just had baked goods. Uh, yeah. Waiting for it. Oh, amazing. Man. I remember driving home and I would like not have eaten dinner because we'd have to <laughs> yes. we'd have to finish we'd have to finish rehearsal before ten because it was in like a residential neighborhood. So we'd always end up rehearsing when you're supposed to eat dinner, but we wouldn't eat dinner because we were rehearsing. So I'd be really hungry and then I'd eat like four brownies and I'd just drive home like feeling so sick. <laughs> and just thinking like next time, don't do that. <laughs> just don't do it, Ivan. Just eat fewer. And I, I could I could never do that. <laughs> So what did he do next time? He would have five. Five was bad. I'm sort of glad we're out of there. I mean, I loved your house. I loved your house, but it was bad. It's like drugs. Now she, now she packs the, the goods for me to bring into the city. Yeah. Oh my god. You, you got a good mom there. Yeah, no, she's Say hi to your mom, mom. please. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mrs. Okay, what can we expect uh, coming up from Sweet Fix within the next year? Any the video? Any, a yeah, video? we're making a video. Yep. Uh, now, who's are you guys? Do you have like a director? Are you gonna do it yourself? You get all that we kind of genius. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a, we're a inspired great by the pearls, to be honest. But. We well, FM Radio is single. It's gonna be a music video as well, and we're about to start filming that this Saturday, and we're really excited because uh, we haven't even mentioned that to anybody yet. There That's you the go. First time Inside information. Heard. So we're working really hard on the video. We're gonna hit a couple places uh, outside of New York. We're gonna hit the road to Philadelphia and. Uh, New Jersey, more than likely, and hopefully up in Massachusetts. And we're going to start playing out of town and really hitting the bricks in the fall. Mm -hmm. But uh, Irving Plaza, July 21st, will be probably the last city show in New York okay. for a little bit as we release those singles. And that's the show where they can pick up your the new free uh, CD. Yeah. Okay, great. We're Excellent. also really excited about our website, which is yep. pretty recently new. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while, we were just... You know, really heavy into MySpace and Facebook, and we wanted to kind of. What's that? What is our Sweet, website? Sweetfix.com. Sweetfixmusic.com. Sweetfixmusic.com. There's stuff on there that's not on any of the other social networking yeah. stuff or on YouTube. Okay, very At cool. Sweetfix. Follow Twitter at Sweetfix. There you go. And now everybody's going to be looking forward to you guys rocking the stage June 30th, Bowery Ballroom. It's going to be Sweet Fix, Pansy, Star Killer, and the Dirty Pearls. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Sexy armpit. I will see you there on June 30th, Bowery Ballroom, for the Dirty Pearls video premiere party of Who's Coming Back to Who. Meanwhile, go to thesexyarmpit.com and check it out. Also, pick up the t-shirt.